Hey there, it's MJ. So hopefully you've been practicing, I hope so, and maybe like you've been practicing consistently at least three to six days a week if possible. I know it's possible. Um, it's all here. Avoidance is not the answer. So as we move through steps as beginners and always having a beginner's mind on our mat and a free mind on our mat, um, I'm going to take you through Sir Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, and B, but very slow paced. And then I'm going to take you to the next pose, which um, is a forward fold that we're going to hold. The reason why we do this is because it's very cleansing to let everything go upside down. And when we do that, we help increase the dopamine levels in our brain. It's good. Make you happy. Um, we also increase the melatonin levels that help us sleep better at night. So it's really good for stress and anxiety. So starting off at the top of your mat, make sure your feet stay together, shoulders down and back, fingertips glue together like paste, but don't use paste on your hands. That'd be a really sticky situation. Standing in Tandasana, Samasthi Dehi, Sun Salutation A, Sir Namaskar A, Ekam inhale, hands up, jaw up. Do we exhale, bring the fingertips, spreading them out wide. Again, you want to cup in here. So cup forward and down. Your hands may not flat be flat on the ground. It doesn't matter. That's why when you practice, things happen. If your tendons stretch automatically overnight, then please um, be careful. <laughs> Inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold in again. All the way from the top. Lift up and exhale down. Inhale halfway, exhale down. All right, one more trick before we do the whole thing. Here we go, inhale. Exhale all the way down. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold in. So we're warming the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Samasthi Dehi. Don't exhale through your mouth like me. So all the way from the top, and we're going to step back this time. Sirena Mascar A, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Spine is an extension, can also be here. Exhale, step back right and left. So that right and left movement, make sure your butt's not up in the air like that. All right. Pull it forward. If you don't have the strength in your arms yet or the bond of control in your abdomen, roll gently all the way down. Take the shoes off your feet. Feet are completely long. Inhale, lift up high towards the heavens. And then exhale, either tuck your toes or come on to your knees and pull back. So downward facing dog, everybody knows what this is. We've done this a thousand trillion times, but there's a lot going on here. The fingertips are spread wide. If you do not feel the strength going into your thumbs, it's basically because your rotation and your shoulders are wrong. And that's okay. We just have to make them right, right? So you wanna manually roll the shoulder blades away from the ears, eyes of the forearms face each other, head is down and armpits are down so you don't hurt your shoulders. Feet may not touch the ground at first, but which is another reason why I really don't like the urinating dog. You know, the dog doesn't need to pee on everything. If you keep your foot, both of your feet, not just one, down, your body will slowly stretch itself there as the blood supply moves through your tendons and your ligaments. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. You can step up or walk up or hop up. Remember, this is beginning. Exhale. And inhale. Lift it all the way up. Exhale, Samasthi Dehi. One more time and then we're going to B, okay? Lift. Exhale down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back right step back left pull your heart forward lower all the way on the ground or hover inhale and exhale to take it back five breaths four 
And don't let your hips be an illusion. They're actually not as big as you think they are. So your feet don't need to be like this or too close. Two more. And one. Exhale, bend your knees. Step it up, right, left. Your breath should be empty, so inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, now I'll come all the way up. Exhale, Samasi to He. So Sir Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. I'm gonna break it down play school style. So fingertips onto your hips at first. We really don't do this, but this is only to give you some yoga love. Exhale, bend your knees. Your knees don't go out, okay? We're not doing any of this. So you want to pull this in. Your tush is back, but your mula bandha is never um, untucked, except for, well, we're not going to do a digestive system class. Inhale, lift up. I like to draw on the ground. Lift your chin up towards the sun. Jaw is up, shoulders are back. Your forearms are in a little pike position, like you're playing volleyball. Exhale. <laughs> Release onto the earth. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back right and left. No tush in the air. Pull it forward. Lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Stay on the ground. Remember, the arms, your wrists and your elbows are in one line. And then exhale, take it back onto the knees or roll over, please. Head is down. So when we move through this transition there's no really breath in between once you find that exhale the inhale puts the back foot onto the earth which is your left foot and then you step up right the hips square up and then lift up high towards the heavens and this first one we'll just take a couple of breaths so you can feel your house being built on a rock and really bend that front knee Exhale, fingertips are down, step it back. So extension, vinyasa, extension of the breath. Inhale, lift up, full inhale. Even if you have to take a little breath at first in between, that's okay. And step up, left leg, back foot grounds. Remember the transition where we put the knee on the earth? If you need to do that first, you can always do that. Inhale, lift up, eyes onto the heavens. So make sure that these guys are balanced out and you're really pulling into that front leg. That back foot is flat onto the earth. The reason being as well, so if I was to kick up like that, I would automatically come down. And exhale. Do a desha lower, all the way down. Inhale to open the heart, triota sha. And then exhale, shatori desha, five breaths. Why five breaths connects to the five vital breaths, that's why. And the throat chakra is your fifth chakra. So that's where the vibration of the breath is coming from. Hum, hum, hum. Two more. Drop your head, close your mouth. One more, you find that exhale. Bend your knees, step it up, right, left. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, draw that triangle on the ground. Lift and exhale, Samasi to He. So we're gonna just go straight into stepping out, right and left. Inhale, lift up, exhale. So, Padagustasana. Take two fingertips to hook onto your big toes. And if you're like, lady, I cannot grab my toes, bend your knees, doesn't matter. So you can be all here if you need to be there. Just you want to understand the movement in your spine. So meaning you want to feel your breath moving all the way from the crown of the head to the pelvic floor. So there's that giving symmetry of your yin and your yang. Now we've been here for like three breaths. You're breathing, not talking, right? <laughs> and then exhale, bend your knees even deeper. Take the palms and hands underneath the feet. Even if your toes don't come all the way to your wrist, it doesn't matter. Inhale, straighten the arms, look halfway up. And then exhale, head down. And you take five breaths. Okay. 
One more. Exhale, in the midst of it, grab hold of your hips. Inhale to come up. And exhale to step in, samasthiti to he. And you're feeling a little bit more, my advice is to go over it again, you know? They may start doing it with me too, I don't know. They've got their mouth open in awe. I guess I brought them the sun. Namaste. <laughs>